Hello, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Alia's Kitchen Creations. Today I've got a recipe for you that was trending in the lockdown. It was all over the internet and I'm sure you must have seen it. I've tried quite a few versions of this recipe and come up with one that I think is really simple, really easy and super delicious. What is it? Soft and succulent chicken bread. The best thing about this recipe is you can have it as a starter but it's hearty enough to serve as a main meal and what's even better is you can serve the leftovers to your kids for their lunchbox tomorrow and I promise you they will love it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. For the dough we need two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, half a cup of milk, four tablespoons of oil and one sachet of instant yeast. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our dough. I'm going to use my trusty mixer to do the job, but of course you can knead the dough by hand, whatever you prefer. I'm just being a little bit lazy today. So I'm going to be using one sachet of yeast in my recipe. This is instant yeast and it's about 5.5 grams, which is around one and a half teaspoon. If you're using fresh yeast, always look on your bottle. It tells you how much yeast you should be using in comparison to how much flour. But if you're using instant yeast, one sachet or one and a half teaspoon should be plenty. We're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil now and leave one tablespoon to use later on. Gradually add in your milk until you get the required consistency. Now I've used about half a cup of milk but you could need ever so slightly more or less depending on your type of flour. Grease your hands with a little bit of oil so that you can remove the dough easily without it sticking to your hands. This is the type of consistency you're looking for. As you can see the dough is nice and soft. So with your hands, just brush the rest of the oil all the way around the bread so it's nicely covered. So we're going to leave this now in a nice warm place just so that it can rise and the yeast can do its magic. If it's really cold and you feel that it's not warm anywhere in your kitchen, what you can do is switch your microwave on just for 30 seconds to warm up on its own, not with the dough inside it, and then cover your dough and just leave the bowl inside the empty micro. And that way, at least it gives it a little bit of a warm environment for the yeast to really help the dough to rise. Right, so let's prepare our filling for our chicken bread now. I'm going to use about 500 grams of chicken because I'm using some chicken on the bone as well. I feel when you use pieces of chicken that have bone on it, it just gives so much extra flavour. Boneless chicken can be a little bit more dry, so when it's on the bone, it just adds a bit of added flavour to the recipe. So, let's add our chicken to our pan. Add enough water just to be able to cover the chicken. Cover and cook the chicken for approximately 30 minutes until the chicken is completely cooked and all the water has dried. Now shred your chicken being careful to remove any bones. Here I have half a green pepper and half a red pepper that I've chopped into small cubes and half a cup of sweet corn. So now we're going to add in two tablespoons of flour. Now this is what's going to give our filling that lovely creamy texture. Saute for a couple of minutes to cook the flour down properly so we're not left with that floury taste. Add one cup of milk and two teaspoons of chilli sauce. You can add more or less chilli sauce depending on your preference. If you feel that your mixture still looks dry at the end, then add a little bit of more milk. You want it to have this lovely smooth creamy texture like so. 
it aside and let it cool down so we can fill it into our bread. So after about two hours, our dough has nicely risen. It's doubled in size as you can see. Flour the surface a little bit. Roll it out gently into a ball and divide it into two pieces. Gently just flatten it. Roll your dough into a long rectangular shape. It should have this sort of thickness. Add a nice generous amount of grated cheese on top of your chicken filling. I've used a mix of cheddar and mozzarella. So we've left a little bit of space on both sides. That's going to help us to fold the bread. Make cuts along the sides. This is what's going to help us give the bread the beautiful shape. Now comes the fiddly bit. Take the two top corners and fold them one over the other in a crisscross shape and keep going all the way until you reach the end. To decorate your bread, sprinkle over with any seeds or herbs of your choice. Make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees for about 15 minutes before you put your bread in. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed cooking this delicious chicken bread with me and I hope you'll give it a try. I'll be back real soon with another delicious recipe on Alia's Kitchen Creations. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy and keep cooking. Time for me to tuck in.